when, when you're ready, let me know. I'll finish this donut. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I've eaten the last bit of donut. Um, nom, 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 nom. It's stale as hell. Oh, that, that doesn't sound appetizing. That sounds unappetizing. It's still kind of tasty, but it's really stale. Uh, too bad you don't have some coffee to dunk it in. It's too late for coffee. Oh, too no, late. Oh, I can make decaf. Yeah, oh, well. I guess we could do decaf. Uh, well, it's already done, so I don't need it anymore. <laughs> or you could get, uh... You could get some of that soy milk or something. I'm out of milk. I gotta go get some more. Mm -hmm. That's unfortunate. Okay. See, I, I know you can't just have milk. Like, you have to have, like, almond milk or soy milk. I had, uh, rice milk. Rice recently. milk. How is that? Mm -hmm. It's alright. It's alright. It's actually okay. I guess I should do the introduction proper. Yes, let's do the proper introduction. Okay, alright. Uh, hey everyone, welcome to another Hanging with Gildam episode, because I'm not alone this time, I have Chaz with me. Oh, hey. And, uh, you know, we're just gonna talk about things, stuff, whatever's on our mind. I'm mixing up the introduction, because it's not a rambling episode, so I have to, I have to get things, like, all situated. I should probably mention, I have a cold, so if I sound really nasally and, and different... And, and He's the, actually going through a Justin Bieber phase. What? I don't like Bieber. I'm not a believer. I'm drinking a Bloody Mary. How bloody was it? Like, did you have to get the blood of, like, a lamb or something? No, I just poured V8 into this cup and added some vodka to it. That's, that's the boring way to make the Bloody Mary. What do you want me to do? Actually, like, go, go get blood? You need to get sheep juice. No. Uh, Jazz, I hate I hate to tell this or I hate to tell you this, but blood mm -hmm. does not taste that great. It tastes like iron, man. Yeah, and it's not that great to drink. It, it, it tastes it, disgusting. It, yeah, why would you want me to have blood in a Bloody Mary? Because it's it makes it more legit. No, I mean if you wanted to go metal, like like black. Black hardcore metal, yeah, I guess something along those lines. <laughs> you probably could get like um, you probably could get a bad disease if you did that too. Oh, so absolutely. It's probably, be probably best you're not drinking actual blood. I, I wouldn't want to drink blood even in like any state of mind, even if it was clean, like you know, a bag, like like they they made sure that it was all clean, like you could donate it. Yeah. Still wouldn't want to drink it. Oh, I agree with that. All right. All right. I'll agree with your sentiment that it's bad to drink blood. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, originally we were going to do some Mega Man 5, but this is kind of a test to see whether or not I can actually do that. Like, is my voice going to be able to hold up to the, the bound of everything, so to speak? Because I can't think of yeah. any other word because my brain is kind of dead right now. Mm -hmm. uh, Chaz, on the other hand... Uh, I I might have to have him take the reins just a little bit. Yeah, it's gonna be a uh, Mega Man Five. Uh, I I should Maybe. also mention we t we were gonna continue on talking about like Power Rangers and stuff. Oh, is that is that so? It is working that that yeah. that video. Now. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I I got it up. It was Good. delayed a week, but I I got it up. Yes. Power Rangers. Yeah, Power Rangers. Uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Because they were, they were a hot, they were a Happy Meal toy from McDonald's. I went to my parents' house the other day. I didn't go look at my Power Ranger toys, but I was thinking about it. I asked them about the, um, I don't know if that made it into the recording, but remember the Inspector Gadget bit. No, we, I think we brought it up. If not, yeah, I, I, I asked, mean, like, I asked... Uh, I was just going to say, if not, short summary, uh, you had a, you were collecting the, uh, the Inspector Gadget Happy Meal toy parts, because they all combined together, kind of like a, a giant Transformer, or yeah, like some sort of Voltron, Voltron, I guess, yeah. Yeah, Voltron kind of thing. And, uh, you just get one legitimate toy, and it's, it's super sweet, it's kind of awesome, it's 
why don't they do that more with the Happy Meals toys? You know, you get a crappy toy, but if you collect them all, you get a super sweet toy. Yeah. Well, I asked my mom if we actually had that arm, and we still don't have it, so oh, no. I'm on the hunt. Maybe not right now, because I got, you know... I. Oh, hey! I'm done with my boardwalk job. Oh, hey, so if if we had to delay Mega Man 5... I were, I, don't, I have Saturday and Sunday off now. Nice. I'm not, I, now I get two days off. That's like... I, I've been working six days a week since, uh, those, like... Those are my what, days off. May? I got... I've been working six days a week since, like, May. Maybe earlier. April, actually. Last hey. week of April. Yeah. I mean, you, you've been working hard. I, I can... I, I've, I've heard it in your voice. You're just like, uh... I've been drained, man. You, you have been drained. You sound drained. Today I'm better. I'm better. I, I I I celebrated my final day by buying myself some curly fries. <laughs> uh, I, like I curly hate fries. curly fries. Wait, you hate curly, hate curly fries? fries? I bought a bunch of. I bought like this big bucket of curly fries. Right. I only bought it because the, I was sharing it with my other workers, and they all like curly fries. But I would just buy like you know the regular cut fries. Mm-hmm. But I, I, did I am a little. I'm, I'm a little. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I like curly fries. They're a little greasy, though. That's exactly why I don't like them. They're really? too greasy. I guess that's a legit. You let point. them sit and they become 100% grease. Well, that's the thing about fast food. You don't let it sit. You have to eat it right there and then. This this is not fast food. It's fresh. It was fresh made. Yeah, but it's still like fast food. How long do you think it takes to make curly fries? It took them like five minutes, I think. The, the guy. Yeah, that's said. not that's not that long. I guess. I mean, I guess it's fast food, but yeah. it's not like I don't go to like McDonald's or something. This was at one of the stores in the well, boardwalk. Fair enough, but I, I'm just saying, curly fries, like they're meant to be it's eaten right there food. and then. It's junk food. Yeah. You know, much like fast gotcha. food or anything, it's not meant to be like eaten. Like, I don't know, 20 minutes from now. It's meant to be eaten now. That's why it's called fast food. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta eat it. Not slow food. I mean, have slow you... Slow cooked food, though. Ha have you huh. ever eaten, like, old, like, fast food, like, from McDonald's or something like that? Like, I kept it, like, a day after? Yeah. In the fridge? Yeah. It gets all, like... It's, it's all, gross, like, right? Wompy. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty not great. It's and it doesn't great. microwave well, either. That's, like, the worst no, part. Doesn't. And that's why... It's like fast food is meant to be eaten right there and then you don't you you don't really want it to like to like go longer than i don't know an hour is even like kind of pushing it that's ridiculous yeah. fast food fast food does not keep very long it has a very short uh expectancy and if you don't eat it within like i guess an hour yeah it's, it's not good you're kind of gonna be like ew and <laughs> just throw it away that's what this one guy did. He bought like a whole. He like he bought like three quarter pounders, and he ate like a quarter of one. And then he threw the second and third sandwich away, and the rest of the first one away. That, like what the so heck? Wasteful. Why would you buy? Why would you buy that? That's so wasteful. Not just like you know, wasting food. I'm talking about like, why would you waste your money like that? Exactly. He bought all. He bought three sandwiches. Like yeah. Wait, I'm wait, always wait. Hungry. Hold on. Do you, I wonder if he was, like, on a date and he got stood up. <laughs> he bought all... No, no, no. He, uh, he was a guy I was hanging out with. Oh, okay. It was, like, one of the... I don't know. It was a bunch... It was, like, like a, a group thing. And after the activity was over, we went to McDonald's for lunch. Well, and that's what happened. Do you think he was, like, trying to buy for you guys? No. Oh. Because we all had our food. Well, did he order first? No. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> he ordered like fourth. Well, uh, okay. Yeah. N never mind. There's like mean... there's like ten of us too. Oh. Uh, well, I was just thinking, you know, maybe maybe he was like gonna like pay for some of his coworkers, and then they ended up buying for themselves, and so he's just no. like, oh, I guess I don't have to give him these quarter pounders. 
No, because he on the drive to McDonald's, like, oh man, I'm really hungry. You know what? That that that's <laughs> probably it. He probably was. His his mouth was bigger than his stomach, so he probably yeah. was, so he's probably yeah. like I'm gonna eat so much fast food, and then he got through a quarter of that quarter pounder, and he's like, can't do it. I felt the hole he, right there and then. He got like meals too, so he had like quadruple the fries, which he shared. Like he gave that to us. The so fries. he so he supersized it. Pretty much. I mean. He got them, like I said, he got the, he had like three drinks. <laughs> he saved those drinks for later. So he, he was just like, I'm, I'm going to get all this food. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> get all this it food. It's going to be delicious. It's going to hit the stomach and it's going to feel great. And then he got through a quarter of it and he's like, can't do it. Not going to happen. <laughs> I've had moments like that. But even then, it's not like I get like four or five sandwiches. I don't know why he did that. He got so many sandwiches. Like, well, you sure I mean, you eat all that? I mean, I, like, yeah. I understand getting two sandwiches. You know, maybe maybe you're a little hungrier and you're just like, okay. Yeah, I, I'll eat two sandwiches. Yeah, you know, because sometimes one is not enough. And, and that might just be because I'm an American, you know. It's like, fat old American, gotta go get that fast food. Uh, and one is sometimes not enough. So you're just like, I, I could use a second sandwich. But it's like, even then, you're just kind of like, that was way too much after the second one. Yeah. I should mention, we're trying Discord. We are. I'm not sure if this I'm... is going to work out, but I, I, it feels like the call quality is a lot better. The call quality is very nice, yes. Uh, much better than Skype, I would say. It, it, it's funny. I was I was just thinking about this the other day. Like the reason I never really wanted to go bother with Discord was because they didn't have a screen service. And I swear we were talking about this last week, and almost as if they were listening in, they it's all of a sudden just bam, we have screen sharing. It's like oh okay, I guess I'll try Discord now. I just but, didn't. You know, I don't like popular things because I'm a hipster. <laughs> I feel like I might have a little bit of the hipster vibes as well, just because it's like, uh, you you know when Undertale was popular? Yeah. Uh, I didn't want to bother with it. Yep. But then again, I mean, uh, it, it turns out the fan base was kind of ruining it also, so it's like... I still don't want to deal with Undertale. There, there's not a whole lot to really discuss when it comes to Undertale, although I wouldn't say it, it's a it's a terrible game. It's, it's an experience. Uh, I would say it's an experience. I prefer at least as the you. painful RPG over it, though. But that's my preference. I mean, as long as you enjoyed it, what you did, what you played, it had a lot of good moments. Yeah, I'll, I'll say that it had a lot of good moments. It was definitely an experience. I don't plan to replay it. I played it once. I did. I put in my time. I was happy with it. I was like that. That was fun. Yeah. I don't want to do like the genocide or past fist runs. Uh, I feel like there's a. It takes a lot of time and effort to put into doing those because with the uh with the pacifist run and even with mm -hmm. a little bit of the genesis run you have to kind of know the enemy's patterns oh like because because if you know how battles work you know how you have a mm -hmm. like you can move yeah and it's kind of a bullet hell in a lot of ways you kind of have yeah. to know the patterns and you kind of have to take time to learn those Oh. Especially with the pacifist run, because you don't level up. You're stuck with, like, right. 20 HP. So once that's done, you're dead. With the genocide but... run, it, it just wastes a lot of time, because you're killing everything. You're you're basically being a cynical bastard, and the game makes you feel like shit for doing that. I bet the game wouldn't make me feel bad about it. I mean... I'm heartless. So you, you just wouldn't care. Probably not. And, Honestly, and probably fine. not. But, I mean, that's that's not the point. The point is, you gotta spend hours grinding, which, I, I mean, I guess for me, that's not that big of a deal. It's just, go put in your favorite anime or some anime that you're interested in watching and go go watch that while you're just killing everything in sight. Hmm. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I, I, I just did the neutral route where it didn't require too much effort on either part. Yes, I hear you. On and, that. and it was I a think good that's experience. That's what most people actually do. 
some people probably give me flack for it because it's like, oh, Undertale, you gotta do the pacifist run or you're a heartless monster. I'm a heartless monster. But I will say this. You know what I, I am playing? That. Um, what are you playing? I'm playing the Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga remake. Oh, yeah. You would mention that. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Cool. And you... And you know what? I, I like the new uh, minion minion quest subplot. Hmm. It, it's something new that they had to kind of break up the monotony of the regular game because I guess they were just kind of like, you know what we we want to do? We want to remake this game, but we also don't want it to be a cookie cutter remake of like the the same old thing. So they had the subplot where basically. You, you know how Bowser and his minions were on this cruise ship at the very beginning? And if you don't, that's what happened. I didn't play that game. Okay. So, the plot of it, or at least at the beginning, is Peach's voice gets stolen. Oh. But, but spoilers, because, you know, it's like, if you haven't played the game, spoilers, it's not actually Peach. But uh, it, it does explain it later on, but not, not the point. point is, everyone thinks Peach's voice gets stolen, uh, gets replaced with, uh, with like, Wing Ding's text that's explosive. <laughs> so they're kind of breaking the fourth wall, but it, it's, it, it works, and it's very mm -hmm. entertaining. Not the point. point is, they have to go to the Bean Kingdom, which is uh, the Mushroom Kingdom's next-door neighbor on the other side. Oh, okay. And so they have to go there because... Uh, these two people, they were ambassadors, but, uh, I don't know, they, they turned villainous. It, it's weird. Uh, and so, basically, Bowser's trying to kidnap Peach again, but he's like, I can't do this. If I kidnap her, she's gonna destroy my whole castle. So, uh, in, in this effort where it's like the enemy of my enemy is my friend, Bowser teams mm -hmm. up with Mario temporarily just so that they can get Peach's voice back. Mm -hmm. And, like, the and like their giant new koopa cruiser because that that's a thing and so they fly there but then like uh one of the ambassador people who uh who is one like the the new antagonist of this game uh comes in and he's just like uh screw your cruiser i'm gonna destroy you and so then you crash land at the border and then the game kind of oh. resumes and it, it, it's it's a fun-filled adventure go play it anyways uh they add the subplot where it's taking place with bowser's minions and the main character is Goomba. And the Goomba is really cool because... Uh, is they're... it Goombario? No, it's not Goombario. It's just Goomba. Oh. But that's... You know, I kind of dig it because, like, everyone, everyone's kind of like, Goombas are the weakest troops. Who wants to Who wants to follow a Goomba? They're stupid. And this guy's like, but I just want to save Lord Bowser. Just want to find Lord Bowser so we can all go back to the castle keep and we can just chill back there. We can go back home, you know. Very simple, very simple story, but I kind of dig it. Yeah, just like, I mean, you don't need to be too much more complicated than that. No, but it. I will say the gameplay is a little redundant. Mm -hmm. It's a little redundant. It, it kind of plays like an RTS RPG. I don't really know how else to describe it than that, but... Uh, yeah, you, you just get, like, a bunch of units, which are pretty much a lot of the, uh, a lot of the enemies that you see in any Mario game. Mm -hmm. Like, you got your Hammer Brothers, you got your Spinies, you got your Lakitus, you got Koopas. You even got the, you even got the Koopa Kids, or the Koopalings. Oh, you can have, uh, Roy Koopa? Yeah, you can actually recruit them. Cool. Yeah. I would like Roy Koopa on my yeah, team. Yeah, you, you can get Roy, you can get Larry, you can get Ludwig. You can get Lenny, Lemmy Koopa. Yeah, all seven of them. I'm Kooky Von Koopa. Did you watch that show? Uh, yes. I did not see all they of it, but I just... They had different names. See... Yeah. They had different names in that show, because Roy Koopa was Bully Koopa. Yeah. It, it was very Americanized, from my understandings. And Ludwig Koop, Ludwig von Koopa was uh, Kooky von Koopa. Uh, I got a question. Uh huh. Did you know there was a Mario anime? <laughs> an anime? Yeah, an anime. No. Did you know Prince Naruto is in it? Prince Naruto? Yeah. Like the, no. the fox guy? No. But Who's there, there is a, 
some made up character that just comes in at the very end and apparently that is uh, Princess Toadstool's fiance. Oh, okay. So Naruto is okay. Um <clears throat> okay. That and, makes... and apparently that that that's who uh you end up saving alongside with the uh, Princess Peach or Princess Toadstool. In, in this no, not it's not in a game, it's in the anime. Oh. No, but is it like it, is it like Hotel Mario? Uh, no, it's anime. So you know, the, it, it's very. I, I gotta look on a picture. It, of it's this. very, it's very entertaining to watch. I will say that, and it has like a lot of the tropes that you would expect to have, like be there in a Mario anime. And I was actually kind of digging it, but then it gets to the, the end, and it's like you, you know, rescue Princess Peach, and Mario's like, hey, you know, cool, I saved the princess, and the princess is like, thanks, Mario. Also, thank you for rescuing my fiance. Unfortunately, we can't be together because I'm destined to marry this guy. So you know what happens at the end? What happens at the Mario end? Mario and Luigi go back to their house, uh, which I forget where that is, like their plumbing house, because they're plumbers, and I think they're also repairmen. Oh, but it turns out Bowser also like joins them as like a part-time oh. worker and it's kind of like it's kind of cool because you kind of see mario luigi and bowser as homies it's kind of cool actually yeah because it's like well we all can't get with princess peach might as well be friends is okay it, it's before definitely I, feels like I a silver on, lining before i go on, before i assume things is it this is this what it looks like uh yes Oh my god. Yes. It is not it's not a Why new is anime. Why is Luigi blue? Uh it's old. <laughs> Why does Mario have a sombrero? I I I'm sure it makes context in the uh <laughs> in, in, in the anime. <laughs> there is a rhyme for it. There is a reason. You gotta understand. We're talking like back in the nest days of uh of like uh of Mario. So, Super so Mario before, World was not out yet. I don't even know if Mario before, 3 was out. Yeah, because Super Mario Brothers 3 had a uh, cartoon. Yeah. I, and I just, was really into that cartoon. But I, I'm just, well, the cartoon was Americanized. Yeah, it was really Americanized. But I'm telling you, this is what Japan put out. This is what, like, a company put out <laughs> back back in, like, uh in Japan, I, I can't think of a better term for that. Still, why is Luigi blue? Look, <gasps> it's not important. Don't worry about it. <laughs> He's also, not blue in the game. Look, may, maybe that is because uh, they might have given him a fire flower. I don't remember. I don't remember all the small little details. I oh just my remember, god! Like the, the I see ones. Prince Naruto. Yeah. He's so weird looking. Right. <laughs> I'm so glad he's not actually in the game. He's not a canon character. He's just in the anime. <laughs> I, I'm Prince gonna be Naruto. honest. Like, like it kind of feel it, it's kind of a shitty ending just because it's like I, I don't know. At this point, you're kind of like I want Mario and Princess Peach to kind of end up together, or something along those lines, right? Prince, he's and, so wimpy looking. Yeah, he is. <laughs> and he just shows up, and he's like, thank you for rescuing me, and also Princess Peach is, thank you for rescuing my fiancé. Now get the fuck out of our kingdom. Prince Naruto. <laughs> but it's like, it, it kind of hurts to watch, just because you're like, oh, it's not the ending I wanted. But the silver lining is, you just see Mario, Luigi, and Bowser as as bros. They're just They're just chilling at their shop. <laughs> and I'm fi like to some degree I'm fine with that because it's like I, I kind of imagine if you didn't have this element of the princess like Bowser and Mario would actually be friends. You think so? I, I think so. I mean, you take you take away the princess, like I, I feel like they'd only have common interests or like they they probably disagree to some some level, but at the same time, I feel like I feel like they could get along. I, I feel yeah, like maybe. I, you know what maybe maybe they could. I, I feel like when when there's not a kingdom involved, I, I feel like they they kind of could just like go out get a meal or something. Yeah, just chill. Did you know that Doctor Light is in the Mario thing? He was like in a Club Nintendo thing. Club Nintendo. Yeah. 
I mean, I, I, he I helped guess. save Mario with Yoshi. Yoshi and Doctor Light work together I mean, and save Mario. You're, you're gonna have to be a little more specific if we're talking about this. It's um, it's a German thing. Oh, okay. I mean, for one, I don't even know what Club Nintendo it was, is. It's it was a magazine. Oh, okay. All right. It was, had cartoons and stuff, and it was no, German. I gotcha. Well, this one was so. German, so anyway. was it a comic? There's comics of it. Yeah, yeah Doctor Light just saying, is sitting like, here. Yeah. Okay, all right. Doctor Light is sitting here, and he's saying like, "Was zooms out, Mario," <laughs> and Mario is just sitting there like, "Ah," and Mario's like, "Ha!" Huh. See, uh, that, that's the thing about comics; they can go all over the place. <laughs> he thought Mario's name was Link at first. Not to change subjects, but I felt like we had to go 180 back to Power Rangers because there there was yeah, a topic yeah. I was gonna I was gonna talk about. This that... was the the um this was the uh thing we were originally gonna about, like though. discuss yeah. about this. I felt like there was other topics, uh, and, and now we have to retcon most of that to just stick to Power Rangers because I was like, Chaz, we're gonna have to do that. Anyways, <laughs> so back in the day, you know what was popular? Power Rangers. Yep. And you know That's what, true. like, was, was a large part of, like, my kindergarten lifestyle? Power Rangers? No. Oh. I was the kid who never was able to watch Power Rangers. My mom was very strict about it. She was like, Power Rangers are, are like, very violent. They, they fight all these giant things. She didn't understand uh, Japanese culture, really, or at least, like, the, the cartoons and the uh, action shows. Did she, let you watch, did she let you watch VR Troopers? No. I don't even okay, know what that is. That's, that show was kind of dumb. Yeah. Uh, she would let me watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and I think a lot mm. of the reason for that is uh, because... My mom had a best friend. Uh, she still has this best friend. She's she's basically my aunt. Uh, I digress. Not the point. Point is, she had a son that was about five years older than me. So mm -hmm. uh, she was kind of basing a lot of the shows that were acceptable based on her son. So he watched Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And because, like, it was okay with her best friend, she was like, okay, you can watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because, you know, it's, it's it's a cartoon. It's fun. It, it's uh, it's awesome. So I grew up with, like, the, the 1980s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and I was like, yeah, radical turtle power. <laughs> Pizza. Yeah. It, it was Dude, good. It was good fun, you know. And, and still today, like, I would totally get down with some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But yeah. the thing that he didn't watch, because he was a little too old for this, and it came out during, you know, basically my age range, was Power mm -hmm. Rangers. And because my mom didn't have anything to base that from her best friend's son, yeah, basically I, I got screwed out watching Power Rangers. Even though it was pretty much directed towards little kids, much like myself at the time. And I figure, like, you know, it should be okay. Uh... And she did say, like, you can watch it, but, uh, like, if it makes you too violent, I'm going to take it away. So, technically, she gave me the green light. But I remember as a kid, because, you know, I was a total mama's boy. I was like, I don't want to make my mama upset. Mm -hmm. And so, like, I, I never really sat down and watched it. Although my grandparents did, let, like, sneak in one one episode, one viewing of it. They d even I think even they knew it's like, it's a kid's show. It should be fine. Uh, and I saw it. I remember they had like the GI Joe PSAs at the end. Yeah. Uh, and so it's like, yeah, it was totally, it was totally a kids show. And the PSA that I remember was like, it, it had the Blue Ranger. I think it was Billy, and he was like, uh, if the world was exactly like you, because this one kid was like, uh, I, I don't know. I think they were having this like uh, ego ego trip where they're just like, I wish everyone was like me. And Billy just comes up and he's like, Well, if you wish that, everything would be boring. And so he just like re reinvents the world like temporarily so that they can see the whole world like in their viewpoint, like everyone's them. Mm -hmm. and, and so everyone's just the stuck up jerk and so it goes back to his reality and he's like whoa I don't want that the world would be a terrible place and boring it, it, I think the moral was diversity is good yeah variety is the spice of life 
Uh, anyways, that that's not the point I'm really trying to make. The point I'm trying to make is I couldn't watch Power Rangers for the most part. Like, I didn't want to watch it. I didn't want to upset my mom. Uh, and, and I kind of became a social outcast, like, in kindergarten because ev- everyone was talking about it. There was this kid on this bus who I would trade cards with. Because that was a thing back in the day. Uh, weird Yo. cards, mind you. Not not like not like Pokemon cards. This was before Pokemon. But I would go to a card shop. My grandpa would take me to a card shop. I would get booster packs of pretty much anything, like Star Wars, The Lion King. Because uh, they had cards like of anything back then. Anything you could think of, they'd have them. So I would get random booster packs of like pretty much anything. I I think at the time I was into The Lion King, so I would get like these little movie this little movie uh like scenes like in current yeah. form and I, w- I would have those and i would trade those to this one kid who would have power ranger cards and he was like a total fanatic of it he was talking about the movie because you know god forbid i knew what that was and it was it was the latest hype it was like power rangers and the secret of the ooze or uh ivan ooze or whatever yeah i remember the villain was ivan ooze Turns out later when I wa- when I watched the nostalgia critics review of that whole thing, I was like, oh, I guess I didn't miss much of it. But you know, <laughs> at the time, it felt like a big deal. It's like, man, I really wish I could watch this. It probably would have. You probably would have really liked it too. I probably would have. I mean, it was cheesy, but you know, it was. Imp- I was young enough where that would have been totally impressionable. A lot of people look at these like things they liked back then oh it's actually really stupid well of course it's really stupid because you don't have that like you know yeah it's, like it's like that earthbound and that's not that's not a jab at earthbound i mean I'm, I'm i played earthbound i came into it late i didn't come into it like when when it was on the snes and i was like the right yeah. age for it i'm just saying earthbound is a good game but I I clearly missed it when it would have been, like, amazing. Because age kind of makes this impression where it's like, oh, man, it, it, it's the best. You got that nostalgia factor, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Sa- same thing with Power Rangers. Had I actually watched Secret of the Ooze, I would have been like, oh, man, I got I to gotta do the Power Rangers thing. I remember they had video games, and I could never really rent them. Those were good games, but my man. friend had, but my friend rented them, and so I would play with him. The Super Nintendo one is yeah. like a straight up awesome. I, I remember up. there was this it's guy awesome. who was like, uh, I remember there was this boss guy who was like a magnet. Uh, or he had like a magnet head or something. He was he had like a maybe? green jumpsuit. Okay, I don't. I, I'm trying to. Think, but I can't. It was kind of a weird um, villain, but at the same time, I, I don't know. I'm probably remembering all this wrong. Well, I guess I'm going to end it off here because apparently I need to get my head checked. <laughs>